Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner and today we are on location at the fourth annual Watson Gumbo Cook-Off and we're here with Bobby Joe Garrett who got the whole event started and it's a really good event for the Live Oak community but also um, it gives out to the community as well, it, right? It really truly does. I think we're now the, one of the largest events in Livingston Parish. Um, brief history? Yes. Brief history. Four years ago we were going to have a party in our yard, in our barn, and we invited about 50 people to cook a gumbo. Well, we had 12 gumbos and about 150 guests. And the next year it doubled and we ended up moving it here. And as you can see, it's quadrupled. And this is our fourth year. And now it's become a, a fundraiser for different charities. Um, this, year, this year we actually chose a, a local charity, Ravens Outreach Center for Homeless Veterans in Baton Rouge. Um, America, Bo and I love America and love our veterans and we really support them. So every year we will choose something to do with our country to help out our veterans. That's fantastic. Now people are buying uh, armbands today to get in to sample the gumbo and That's everything. That's right. It's a $10 donation we ask for and um, they get to eat not only gumbo but people are cooking barbecue chicken and hot dogs. People have Buddha. We even have some um, shucked oysters, yeah, which everybody's loving. Uh -huh. I ate those for breakfast. <laughs> um, but anyway, we after for all after all our expenses are paid, and there's a few, we give our money to someone that um, we really want to help out, and it's it's all from our heart. My honey's not around; <laughs> he's somewhere around here, Berlin. Um, we it's a lot of hard work, but we truly love it, and our community loves it too. They start asking us in July. We can't wait for the gumbo. We can't wait for the gumbo. We actually have, we had 53 teams registered, but only 51 are here. So there's 51 different gumbos. Only 51. That's yes. not bad at all. And, <laughs> that's right. And one thing about our gumbo cook-off, it's bird and sausage. That's what we call it. Watson's uh -huh. annual bird and sausage. Any type of bird, but no seafood. Gotcha. No seafood. Any type of sausage. I guess the, sea, the sausage can have seafood in it. I think one team has shrimp in their sausage. Gotcha. But as for the main meat, it has to be a bird. Minute. In the morning, we check everybody's ice chest. Um, we make sure they have no canned broth, or I think now it's in cartons. We make sure they have no pre-cooked ingredients. The only thing that they can pre-cook is their rice. They are welcome to pre-cut their ingredients, like their onions and bell peppers and chicken whatever they do but they cannot cook anything until they get here so you say no jar roux or anything like nothing that nothing like that it's from all going to be from scratch and if they add it after eight o'clock or nine o'clock in the morning i don't know but i don't think they do because they know we got people watching right and that you know that's a reputation on the line that's too, right so. that's, that's right that's now. exactly right um we give cash prizes too the, the entry fees Part of their entry fee goes to the to the Ravens Outreach Center this year, and then the other part goes to cash prizes, and it's a big one this year. Now, what's the top prize for the gumbo? Um, it's seven hundred and ninety-five dollars, I think. Seven hundred and ninety-five dollars. <laughs> wow. I, we didn't have a couple teams show, so I'm gonna have to re. Um, add but in that ballpark, ballpark, right? But in that ballpark, it's almost eight hundred dollars. That's yes. fantastic. Yes, and you got so much spirit going on out here. I love how people have decorated their tents yes, and everything. We, it's we really give, cool. We give a prize for the uh, the best decorated tent. Now, who was the big winner last year? Last year, the big winner was the Bar Dogs. They're down at the other end. Um, Mr. Mark Lewis and uh, Mr. Ard, and they have a couple others in, on their team also. They were the big winners. And then the second place winner is actually from your part of the woods. Oh, yeah? Um, it's La Pouillon. Kuyon team down the corner, David and Sandy Waters. Okay, all um, right. They won second, and then the third place team was actually a team that Tommy sponsored, uh -huh. the Double D Daiquiri team, and they're right across there. Yeah, they're the so, ones with, uh, if you don't like my bird, you can bite my bite sausage. Bite my sausage. Yes, yeah. excellent. Yeah. <laughs> team yeah. spirit on, yeah. on the t-shirts so there. 
Yeah, you need to go visit them, and you need to visit our veteran, Mr. Robbie Harrison, straight in the back, too. Yeah, absolutely. There's donation boxes here and there, uh, and that's all going to help homeless vets here in yes, our community. It it's fantastic. Now, if somebody wants more information about uh, coming next year, maybe sign it up next okay, year, how do they get you in touch? Okay, you can contact me. Um, you can call me on my cell, 337-0041, or you can contact me via email, and I'm sure Marissa will put it on her Facebook. That's right, and at the bottom of the screen right here yeah, and on the website. B BJ Garan. 65 at gmail.com. There you go. So for more information, you can also go to our website, theoutdoorkitchenshow.com. We'll have the link for the Facebook page and all that good stuff. And uh, you can always stop in at Double D Daiquiri's and talk to Tommy. Yep. He's always got the information about That's that exactly as well. Right. That's all right, exactly Bobby. Right. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Steve. Okay. So We're going to walk around and see what kind of uh, exotic and tame birds are in the gumbo yeah. and meet some of the contestants while the band's about to kick up. They are. And everybody is having a good time. And thank you so much thank for you. organizing this. Thank you for coming. Thank oh, yeah. Thank you for coming. It's going to be a good time, y'all. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, y'all, we're talking with one of the cooks here. This is Danny Blue. And, Danny, what kind of gumbo you got going on? That is chicken and sausage gumbo. Chicken and sausage, but the sausage is special, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Got some special ingredients in the sausage. You going to tell everybody your special ingredients? Can't tell everybody. Let's just say some exotic birds of That's some right. sort. Right. <laughs> everybody's having a lot of fun out here. We got Double yeah. D Zachary's as a sponsor here, and Tommy is making sure that everybody's got. Uh, ample refreshment as uh, as all the fun as, as you got going on. So how long have you been cooking? You started at 9 o'clock? Started at 7 this morning. Started at 7, okay. Now they check to make sure you do everything from scratch, so what was your first step? Boiled chicken, made a broth, uh, made a beef broth. Okay, don't tell anybody that. Okay, we won't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Okay. But uh, made our broth, cooked it all down, cooked our onions down, seasoned all our meat, browned all our meat, put it all together. Okay, so you got different pots here and there so you could get everything going at once, right? Okay. Now what you got on the little grill over there? I got oysters right here. I got around. some uh, char grilled oysters. Got some boudin. And hey, if you're looking for gumbo recipes, make sure you check out our website, theoutdoorkitchenshow.com. Uh, this is Team Mama's Boys. Okay, now tell me what kind of gumbo you got. Anything special in the sausage or is this regular sausage? Just love. Just love. I like it. Just love. Y'all, we're here with the champions from last year. I've got uh, Mark Lewis, Lynn Art, and Steve Harper, and they're bar dogs. And this was the champion gumbo last year. Now, there's $800 on the line. You think you got it this year? Hey, we don't luck, know. We the luck of the draw. Yeah. The luck of the draw. That's yeah. right. It's all about the judges, too, what the judges There's like. Y'all got a nice... So far, everybody, a lot of people come back for second. There you go. Y'all got a thick, nice gumbo here. Uh, got some, I see some green in it and everything. Some people don't put the green in it. And it's um, chicken and a homemade sausage, right? We, we put everything but beer in it. Put everything but I'm beer. The beer goes in the cook. The beer goes in the cook. That's right. That's now right. I don't know why they call it wine. <laughs> <laughs> now, what time did y'all get up and start cooking out here? Uh, we were here about a quarter to seven. seven. All right. And you started making your roux and making your broth? And no, all they wouldn't let us start on the roux until nine o'clock. Oh, uh, okay. All right. I uh, know. Yeah, it was nine, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Everything else started before now. Gotcha. That's what we did. Okay. All and right. Everything was cooked here. We, 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 Everything. Right, you got to, yeah. Now, what's the secret? You gotta give us the secret. You gotta give us a little tip. Can't for give people. Can't, away. Can't, give the, can't give the secret secret. But give a little tip for the people at home trying to make a good gumbo outside. A lot of tender love and care. Love and care. That's the best we're gonna get out of these and guys, I think. And cold beer. And stirred cold beer. That's slow. right. Everything is stirred real slow. All right. yeah. Clockwise it's or counterclockwise. Either way, it's all good, huh? It's all about love. It's all about the love. Here with Bar Dogs. Hopefully, another champion gumbo. We'll see. We're here to have a good time. It's a good possibility. We're here to, good to have a good time. Actually, we're here for the charity, huh? That's right. It's all about the charity. Get back to the community. Charity and uh, have fun. That's it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, now we're here with uh, last year's third place competitor. This is Mike McGee. Mike, what's your team name? Team Attaboy. Attaboy, okay, and you're uh, sponsored by Double D Daiquiris, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, what's special about your gumbo? What, what, what you got in it? We just use uh, we use just chicken and sausage, and uh, the main thing is the roux. We just concentrate on the roux. We got a, you know, 
So that's the main thing. It must be good because I tell you what, I had to pull him away from his pot because there's such a crowd of people around the pot. So it must be pretty darn good. I hope so. Now, who else on your team? I got uh, Chad Zephyr. He's from Baton Rouge. Uh, Danny McGee. Uh, he's from Denham. That's my brother. Okay. And then Brian Sparazino, he's also from Denham. Uh, okay. Now, there's $800 on the line for the main pot. You think you got a shot this year? I think we do. I mean, we might not. I think we do. Yeah. But uh, now it's you good. cooked in this all, all four years of the year. Yeah, event, this right? is our fourth year to cook in it. Last year, we took third. And uh, what am I saying? There's 53 teams cooking in it, and uh, there's a lot of good gumbo. So. That's right. There's a lot of good gumbo here at the Watson Bird and Sausage Gumbo yeah. Cook Off. We gotta take a quick break, but when we come back, Bobby Joe's gonna tell us all the winners, so stay tuned. <laughs> 